Welcome! Today we'll be talking about planning, promotion, and content creation tips and tricks for hosting a SIG event at the ISTE conference. The first step in creating your event is thinking through your big picture objectives to guide your initial planning. Set goals for your event together as a SIG leadership team to get everyone invested and excited. Think through what's best for the event, the attendees, but also for your SIG. What are you trying to accomplish with this event? Strong resources? a growing network base, or exposure for year-round initiatives of your SIG. Think it through as a group so everyone moves forward in a shared direction. Once you have your goals established, determine who on the leadership team will be responsible for specific planning duties. Role examples could be a speaker coordinator, an event promoter, or the logistics point person. Establishing clear expectations early will help everyone stay invested and organized. Set up an accessible online space where team members can document event details, things to do, and role definitions. Having a common space where all event information is stored will help keep planning on track. Before jumping into all the things you want to do at your upcoming event, don't forget to review attendee surveys or feedback received from previous events as a refresher on what your areas of focus should be and what improvements can be made. If you don't have feedback surveys, ask other groups that have done similar events what they would suggest. Continue using collaborative input to guide your event by reaching out to your membership and volunteers for suggestions on what topics would be interesting or beneficial to incorporate into your programming. You can do this by sending a survey out to your listserv or by posting a question on one of your communication channels like Facebook or Twitter. Think about potential collaboration opportunities with other SIGs that could elevate the discussion around your content choice. By partnering with another SIG, each group could explore different angles around the same topic. Identify possibilities for aligning your event content to the ISTE Nets. This will provide additional benefits and increase the ease of application for the attendees. Now that you've built the foundation of your event, you can design the look and feel through various logistical elements. A great way to find inspiration is to look at what other SIGs have done in the past and modify good ideas to suit your event. It's easy to find past ISTE conference programs online to review SIG event listings and descriptions. Select a format that will transmit the information and resources at your event in the clearest and most engaging way for your audience. Some examples of formats for SIG forums are a lecture, a panel discussion, or BYOD, which stands for Bring Your Own Device. Explore various communities to find speakers or presenters for your event. For example, you could review the conference program to find well-known speakers who'd like to participate with your SIG, or you could reach out to teachers and their students who could talk about their real-life experiences and projects. Another way to round out your program is to get the audience involved. SIG events should elicit a sense of community and opportunities for future collaboration. So including participation from attendees in the event presentation is a great tactic. SIG events are incorporated into the ISTE conference to give members a chance to get to know your group, who you are, what you focus your activity on, and how to get involved. Make sure your SIG's mission and personality is ingrained in your event. Incorporate themes, projects, or areas of focus of the SIG in the program. Now it's time to get the word out on your event. You want to focus your promotional efforts on tactics that will have the farthest reach. Conference attendee surveys say they hear about most SIG events through the conference program, so you want your event description to be detailed and enticing. The elements you want to think through are having a strong title which is catchy and hits on your main content focus, crafting a detailed description which mentions event aspects like the format, what people will take away, and the areas of focus covered, Identifying the nets associated with your event as well as keywords to connect with people searching the program for specific topics. And lastly, be sure to keep your speaker list updated as your program evolves. Spread the word far and wide by utilizing the communication channels available through ISTE's online communities. Reach out to SIGs that have a connection to your content or connect with ISTE membership staff to request your event featured on ISTE's Facebook or Twitter pages or on the ISTE Connects blog. While you're aiming to spread your promotion efforts as far as possible, you also want to make it easy for your SIG members to attend by giving them all the logistical details in a way that is easy to digest. Schedule regular updates or create a page on your wiki to keep everyone
everyone posted on your event planning progress. Coordinate volunteers in advance to live tweet or stream a virtual audience into your event. Promote this feature ahead of time to build an audience of people who could not attend in person. Lastly, let's cover tips to make your event a community building experience by getting your audience members involved and keeping them active. Open the communication lines early by emailing all audience members prior to the event to prep them on any aspects of audience participation or breakout groups planned. Even if you did not plan a BYOD event, I can guarantee you there will be phones, laptops, and tablets in attendance. Embrace the devices in the room and set up a back channel for sharing and Q&A throughout the event. Prearrange for volunteers to take notes on key takeaways and resources that can be shared with your full SIG membership following the event. Ensure event attendees can stay connected with your group by providing information on your SIG communication channels, how to become a member, and networking or volunteer opportunities. Connect these tips with ongoing contributions and collaborations from fellow members to enhance the impact of your next SIG event.